It's been a while since we talked to you. Just, what's this year been like for you, just going through? Um, just a lot of work. Um, just trying to be the best player I can possibly be, um, and just so I can get on the field, stay on the field, and kind of find my role for the team. And yeah, that's kind of how it's been, just grinding, trying to find my way. Yeah, mentally, how do you handle the fluctuations? I mean, each week, you, know, you kind of don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I'm an even kill guy. You just stay the same. Like, not everything's gonna go your way all the time. So just it's always just about just going out there, working my butt off and just staying ready, staying ready just in case I, I do get the coach does call me up and be able to play. So I'm just trying to stay wet, ready. How frustrating was it for you that you had to spend a couple weeks on the COVID list and you know, spend even more time away from the team? Um, it was real frustrating actually, but you know, everything happened for a reason. Part just wasn't on time. So it was just my time just to sit back and just watch and uh, Take, take in some more and work some more. So it just wasn't my time, so it was frustrating, but, you know, got over it. You feel okay during that time? Uh, I felt great, yeah. Um, I actually didn't have any symptoms, so it was just, yeah, it was a weird little thing for me. And what do you think led to the increase in playing time over the last two weeks, and then obviously in the first game, it seemed like that led to more in the second game? Uh, I don't know, just probably trust. Um, I feel like I've gained the coach's trust a little bit more. And that's probably a reason why. So um, just hopefully I can gain some more trust to hopefully get a bigger role. What area do you think you had to do that in most? Um, just blocking, blocking, um, knowing schemes, being able to get open, um, just knowing that I'm going to get open. Uh, I feel like I struggled with that over the past couple of years. So um, it's just something that I've worked on. And now he's starting to trust me a little bit more. What's the process of working on getting open? Um, everything. <laughs> uh, just. Knowing just like different situations, knowing understanding situations, understanding like just like how the body works as like a DB, like you know how how corner works and like what he does well, what he doesn't do well. So um, just understanding the game and the little details of uh, the receiver aspect is just like I think that's like was the biggest thing that helped me um, get more separation. Okay, where would where you kind of put the team's headspace right now? Uh, I guess kind of reacting to, to the losing streak right now. I mean, it's frustrating, but um, I mean, I feel like we we all here ready to work. We still we know we got a lot more in us. Um, we know we can win, so we just ready to work every week. Come compete, you know, get the, uh, end this losing streak. Is that is that kind of like a, a thing where you just if, if you can just kind of focus on the practice and kind of hope you. Get those little things right in that in that time. Doing the work, you can kind of mm -hmm. work your way out of it, I guess. I mean, yeah, just doing the little things. I feel like, yeah, just like going back to the drawing board, going to practice, and I feel like, yeah, just doing the little things. Going back to doing the little things, right, is was the biggest thing for us to like, you know, keep success. So um, we just working, the uh, figuring those little things, so we can finally end this lo losing streak. When you're trying to prove yourself or whatever, keep keep the trust up. I guess is the way you put it. Uh, is that harder when you're going from quarterback to quarterback and there's kind of some changes? Like, do things change for you at all from, from guy to guy? Um, I don't think so. I feel like I have trust in all of them too, and we all do. We work with them um, since um, camp. Actually, OTA has been working with these guys since OTA, so um, I feel like we have a feel for all all the guys. So like, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter which quarterback is in. Um, we're gonna get the work in, and you know what I mean. Uh, just do what we do and play ball. And what's it? Um, what is it like as a player when you, uh, especially an offensive player, when you hear Peyton after a game say, "Obviously, we've got to uh, look at everything we're doing and who we're doing it with." There's uh, various ways you can take something like that. But how did you receive that? I mean, <laughs> just work that's all I, that's all I can take that just like just get back to work get in the weight room get in the film room film study uh go to coaches and just figure out figure figure something out like w within yourself like you just gotta dig deep into yourself and just figure out something out just to do better you know what I mean do something better so uh just get back to work that's all I can take from that Elton, when you go through that self-improvement process how much of that is post practice how much of that is film work you know what's the combination um I mean I couldn't give you <laughs> A, a number, but I mean, I feel like it's a lot post practice, pre practice, um, film study. It's just, it all combines with, with each other, you know what I mean? So, like, it's 
I feel like it's an equal amount of time with, with, with all of it. Even though we don't get a lot of time on the field, but um, I think it's an equal amount of time with all of it. So, yeah.